How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and here we are, back in Gavin's world. And I know it's been a few days since we've been back, but I've been a little bit busy, but I am now ready to plunge back into this epic world of Gavin awesomeness. Because we've got arms now, or guns. Guns, call them guns if you want, call them arms if you're enjoying the, uh, the lore of this world. It's really up to you, I don't mind too much. There's penguins everywhere here. Maybe they're secretly trying to take over Gavin's base. Who knows? Secret penguin boss in Terraria. So what we're actually going to do is set up a basic arena. And that's just to fight things like, say, the goblins invade again. Or, you know, for Eye of Cthulhu. And all that good stuff. So, um, not going to spend too much time doing this. Just going to go with the basic sort of uh, platforms. Just with some uh, grappling abilities and all that good stuff. So let's use the boreal wood to set this up. I might also just just expand that a bit. So you don't actually need you really don't need too much for your um, first arena. It's more just to give you some maneuverability. So all I'm going to do is get some boreal wood going off the ground there. And, I don't know, let's let's get it about yay high. And then, yeah, sort of run some platforms across. And this will help even, yeah, as I mentioned, for goblin invasions as well. I think that's about wide enough. Do you know what we could also do is double this as a plant growing area for the meantime as well. So let's see, how high can I jump? About that high? I know I can grapple, obviously, but... It's a bit better if you can also just jump the height yourself. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Our arena is pretty much set up. Let's get rid of that sapling, that's not going to grow. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, I like that. And I've noticed the night is starting to fall, but I've only got five lenses, so we need yet another lens before we can do any battling with uh, the Eye of Cthulhu. So I think the time has come, now we've geared up, to finish off our halivator and maybe even do a quick raid on the underworld which would be a bit of fun as well. Snowball launcher! Awesome! <laughs> boom boom! <laughs> Can't believe we got it so early, that's so cool. Alrighty. Back to the elevator. Okay guys, this looks like a big drop in here, so we're gonna do a bit of a grapple and see if we can't make our way down. Safely. Moderately safely. And... Oh, looks like a little bit of topaz up there. Let's grab that. Okay, and I forgot to buy torches, so I'm just using a few glow sticks as we move around. And there's a statue. I don't know if that's a bird or a bat. They look so similar. On the casual glance. You can't quite tell. I think it might be a bird by the looks of it. But that's still okay. That's still fine. So, let's get up here. Oh, I thought I was like attacking it and I threw a glow stick at it. <laughs> it's like, take that! <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'll finish off the elevator later. Elevator later. Yeah, rhyming. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm almost dead. Okay, there's a bit of tungsten. 
bit of tungsten, we could get that. Although, I don't know if I really need it. Is tungsten an upgrade from lead? I think it might be. Alright, let's 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 just make a little platform. Get some light on the subject. Oh gosh. So, I don't know, is there any loot you can get in the underworld? Or is it all in uh, the shadow chest now? So... Yeah, I mean, uh, apart from uh, killing a few mobs and... Oh, my out of glow sticks too. This is terrible. Oh, I can... Oh my god. Did I forget I can make torches again? <laughs> oh god, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay. Ooh, mushroom biome. Ooh, sometimes they have hearts in them. In my experience, sometimes they have hearts. <laughs> So, I'm a bit keen to brave, brave the depths of the mushroom biome here to possibly get a life crystal. So, we've done okay so far. We found the snowball launcher. Is it a snowball launcher? Yep, that's cool. We've got a few gems. We've got a bird statue. So, yeah, it's doing okay. And yes, I'm aware I'm not wearing the helmet. I, sometimes when I do the Let's Plays, I like to show the character's head still and not just wear, like, the helmet all the time. So as soon as I buy, can buy the Clothier wig, I'll, uh, I'll start wearing the full armor all the time. I think I... Can you get that from the merchant? I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah. So I, I do know before people start commenting, go, oh, happy you're not wearing the helmet. Oh, my God. What a noob. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're getting closer. It doesn't look too bad in there. I've also found they usually have tons of lava in them, the mushroom biomes, but this this one seems okay. And another dart trap, that's handy. Always comes in useful. Well, there's some, uh, a teal mushroom for dye. Oh, well, yep, yep, yep. Life crystal, guys. This is good. This is really good. So let's make our way up here. Very nice. All right, we're, get, we're almost there. It's being guarded by some ferocious bats. Will Gavin be okay? And there's a worm. Yeah. Come on, bat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Show your face. <laughs> Ooh, is there anything else, though? We've got a life crystal. Ooh, that feels good. Something so nice about using your life crystals early in the game. Alright. Let's have a look around. You never know, there might be more. More in store. Loot galore. I need an axe, don't I? Stop rhyming, happy. <laughs> okay, some cobwebs. And the necro armor, is that for ranged? I'm pretty sure it is. Necro armor, ranged? Yes. I realised I'm going off on a tangent here. I was trying to get down to the hell biome. And now I'm just like, ah, oh, let's just go exploring. And this is what's so fun about Terraria when you've got a new character. It's just like, everywhere is fun to explore. Like, once you're all powered up, you're just like, meh, I'm just going to go fight, you know, Pumpkin Moon or something. But early on, guys, that's where it's at. Oh! <gasps> no! That's so unfair. Let's have a go. Let's just let's just have a go. Let's live dangerously. Gavin is a brave young adventurer. Yes, he blows himself up more often than he'd like to admit. Yeah, eight vertebrae, we can do this.
Okay. So we're gonna give this a shot. Let's start opening some Prim Heart. And unfortunately I don't have any gel. A few of you suggested using the sticky bombs, which makes a lot of sense, but uh, no gel. What are you gonna do? Oh, wait! What, what is that slime doing there? What are you doing, mate? It makes no sense. Let me out. Boom. Okay. I'm interested to see what sort of loot we get from... Is that gonna stay? Yep. Beautiful. Oh! A crimson... Oh, that's actually a pretty useful item, but I can't use it. What's with the slimes? What is with that? It's like Land of Slimes. Well, you know how I was saying I didn't have any gel? <laughs> Problem solved! <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. It's enough out of you. Now, that screams Echo around you, I think. Because we've already broken a heart, that's the second message. Do you know I've never used sticky bombs before? <laughs> Sorry, goblin, I was about to attack you, but you're just a little goblin. Alright, uh, that's like the worst bomb placement ever, Happy. Alright, so... Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Okay, so I just go... hi -ya! <laughs> That was hopeless. Ooh. You ready? I think this could be it. What have I got? Archery, thorns, swiftness. Oh my gosh, it's go time, people. It's go time. Run, run, go away, spider. Ooh, vertebrae. Ah! Where's your little eyeball things? Bring it on. I'm not afraid of you, brain. Oh, this could end badly. Yeah, don't stop shooting, Happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. So, as, as expected, the boomstick is working quite nicely. The damage is a bit lackluster, but... The area of effect attack is very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh... And this is just some basic platforms makes a lot of difference with bosses like this. Um, a lot of the time players die is because they haven't made an arena yet. You know, you're a new player, you think, oh, what's this cool thing? And they summon the boss and yeah, they've got no room to move. It's similar with Plantera. I remember the first time I fought Plantera, I was trying to evade it in the, the tight jungle area and it's pretty much impossible. Can't be done. Or is that a challenge? It can't be done. Challenge accepted. Alright, so we've almost got the brain to en enrage or whatever you want to call that mode. Oh, knockback. Hello. I'm sorry, Brainy Wenny. You don't like the knockback. Ooh, that's nice. Oh. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Okay, this is this is going okay. Bit easier than when Serena fought it the first time. Hey, don't you spawn on my head. Okay. So that that went pretty well. I'm happy with that. Now have we got enough for oh we need two more. Okay guys, so we're just mining a bit of clay that's uh, lying around the world. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to just set up a basic plant farm. Uh, outside of uh, our base near the arena and just so we can get some of the seeds growing so I've got some shiver thorn and water leaf um, because we will need potions as we move towards uh, wall of flesh and hard mode and all that fun stuff so I'm just gonna take a bit of time to mine some clay that's lying around uh, there's a bit more in here um, we're not going to need tons. I think it's six clay for a pot. Um, and I'm not going to need, like, you know, tons and tons of them. But it's good just to have a nice base of uh, pots down just to get started. And... Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's put some there. And then let's keep it reasonably symmetrical. Okay, so... Let's put Blinkroot up the top here. Blinkroot grows really fast too, which is awesome. 
Let's put the water leaf along here. And let's put the shiver thorn down the other end. Okay. And then random stuff will just grow in the other pots. So as I get more seeds, I can add to that. Okay, thanks as always for watching another episode of Gavin the Gunslinger. He's uh, coming along really well. I think uh, guns are a bit more powerful than the other Let's Plays we've done, so it's kind of awesome to be able to progress along nice and quickly. Uh, it's also especially cool because I'm so mindful that the 1.3 update is getting so close. I think we're only we're under two weeks away now, so it's super exciting. Um, so keep your suggestions coming. As I said, it's all, it, this was always going to be a mini-series, so we're going to move along nice and quickly, but have lots of fun along the way too. Alright, time for some shout-outs as always. We've got Let's Just Play has asked me to say Suma Duma Lama five times fast, and this is Suma Duma Lama. It, it rolls off the tongue nicely, so let's go. Alright. Suma Duma Lama, Suma Duma Lama, Suma Duma Lama, Suma Duma Lama, Suma Duma Lama. I got it out. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, we've got Logan Kisla. Has asked me to say pizza bagels. Pizza bagels? Pizza bagels, pizza bagels, pizza bagels. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, we've got Carl Eric Ma Martikanian. 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 Alright, so let's try again. Carl Eric Martikanian. I think I've said that right. Has asked me to say ready, steady, horrible. Oh, I'm not sure what that's from. If you know what that's from, Ready Steady Horrible, let me know in the comments. Okay, we've got Trina Carter has asked me to say, Cookie is life, and it's what's for dinner. And I just had the best cookie the other day, Trina. I bought one of those giant ones that has the Smarties in them, or the little chocolate buds in America, you might call them. Um, so good. Loved it. It was amazing. And the lady at the counter was like, you're buying a cookie? And I'm like, I love cookies. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we've got, um, okay, we've got Super, Super TY Pedlug, Pedlug, or it's Super T Pedlug, has asked me to say, this is Happy Days in Serbian, he's asked me to say Sren, Srekni Dani, Srekni Dani. I think I've said that right. I'm not too sure on Serbian pronunciation, but I gave it a go. All right. Thanks for watching as always. Leave that like to keep this series going strong. It makes me happy. It makes me want to do more for you. Leave that little like. It makes me so awesomely happy. Um, I'll leave the link also to our giveaway, our 20,000 subscriber giveaway in the comments. Uh, there's already been a couple of hundred people enter, but remember guys, there's three prizes up for grabs. You've got to be in it to win it. Um, it's free, so really, what have you got to lose? All you've got to do is leave a quick post, you can say hi, you can say I love pineapples, you can tell me a story about chicken nuggets and you made a, you know, chicken nugget launcher and I don't know, I don't know, tell me whatever you want in there, have a bit of fun with it, um, as long as you keep it positive, that's the only thing I ask. Alright, uh, thanks as <laughs> I always get so tongue-tied sometimes. <laughs> All I wanted to say is thanks for watching, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!